That's where the circulation is at this time. I'm going to do a storm track uh, on that here in just a moment. Matter of fact, let me just take it back just a couple of frames here. You can just start seeing this uh, circulation. It is so near uh, the radar site. That's why we're having a more difficult time to see this. But I do want to go ahead and put a storm track on this for you. If you're out in the Burr area, Sam Cooper, that's where the circulation Sam Cooper I-40, we've got uh, the camera up there. I'm putting a storm tracker. This is 1224 Leno. Uh, that's the only area that I'm coming up with right now. But if you're between Sam Cooper and Lakeland, you need to take shelter immediately. This storm uh, is moving toward the east, northeast at about 55 miles per hour. This has spun up very, very quickly. So please uh, be alert to this situation and know what's going on tonight, that uh, this is a, a dangerous weather situation that we are following. We're glad that you're watching us here on News Channel 3. Once again, right inside the 240 loop. Ed, take her full screen, bud. Let's just let everyone at home see uh, this. I'll blow it up a little bit larger uh, so that everyone at home can see exactly what I'm pointing out. This area here, let me do a street level map. Uh, as we're looking at North Perkins, Burclair, there's Sam Cooper, Given Avenue, Macon Road uh, to the north. We'll get a couple of more sweeps here in just a moment and get an update on this. But if you're over near Sycamore View, Goodlett Farms, Raleigh LaGrange Road, Mullen Station Road, uh, if I'm just calling out your neighborhood, man, get down into your safe spot under the stairs interior room, bathroom, closet, put something on your head, cover your head, make sure that you and your family are safe, blankets, towels, whatever it takes here, because uh, we want to make sure that uh, we all get through this uh, very safely. So folks, it is hitting home now. This is not the type signature that we picked up earlier this evening in Monette, Arkansas, but nonetheless, it has prompted the National Weather Service to issue this tornado warning for the circulation that we're seeing right here in the Burclair area, it will continue, <clears throat> excuse me, moving eastward, northeast. We'll get updates on this in just a few moments, but everything is working very rapidly toward the east, northeast. Any, uh, it, anyone out there who has my cell number, and there, there are quite a few of you these days. I do a lot of pass it on stories. Uh, if you have any information uh, to pass along to me, please don't hesitate. Uh, to text me and let me know. I'm already hearing from people out in the Lakeland area. I'm hearing from someone in Arlington. Uh, I've not yet heard. Well, there's there's an update. That is a little bit better circulation, Jim. Yeah, that's yeah. out towards Sycamore View and uh, pushing toward Mullen Station. So that's a little bit broader circulation. Let me go uh, real quick, uh, Ed. Let's let's see if we've got the tower cam there. Let me see if I can pull up tower cam if I can see anything. That is that location that I'm looking at right now on uh, the tower cam. I'm looking at that specific location right now. I don't see, there's the sirens going off once again, but once uh, at this point with so much rain, uh, you just can't see it. It's rain wrapped, it's dark. Uh, only if we got a, a vivid flash of lightning uh, for a prolonged period of time uh, to light this thing up, would we know, uh, be able to see it just can't see it, which is why these storms late at night are so dangerous uh, indeed. I'm swinging the camera back around uh, toward Bellevue. I've got a good focal point there. The, the three crosses, I'm seeing a lot of rainfall at that particular site uh, out there. Uh, so please, uh, if you're in that part of town, now is the time to seek shelter. Do it immediately as we are watching this storm cell now between basically almost out toward um, the flyover. Sycamore View Road back toward White Station, I-40, 240, and it is moving uh, toward the east, northeast. Jim, the sirens continue to go off, and we're watching all these traffic cameras as well. All right, so here's the uh, situation. We've got this tornado warning now only for Shelby County. The rest of the counties have been removed from the tornado warning. It goes until 1245. If you're in Shelby County, you're under a tornado warning. Just assume that. You need to go to your safe place right now. Safe place is in the lowest part of your home, in the center part of the home, in a small room like a bathroom with no windows or a closet. You, uh, bicycle helmets are an excellent 
idea to protect your kids and protect yourself, get a helmet on them. Uh, most of the uh, uh, serious injuries that can happen out of a tornado are head injuries. Get in that safe place, lowest floor, in the center, small room, bathroom with no windows or a closet. Stay away from windows. If you have a basement, not many people do, but if you have one, get down there now. The National Weather Service also has some severe thunderstorm warnings going till about 1230 to 1245. This one goes to 1230 here for Fayette County, Northern Marshall and DeSoto County. The second one goes until 1245. So we talk about training on News Channel 3 and we're training it like a train, like a locomotive. OK, so this one storm is over us right now. Right behind us is another storm going on that same track, that same railroad track. It's training. We're getting another serious storm right behind the serious storm that we've got in Memphis and Shelby County right now. Look at weather one. Okay. I want you to look at that. Well, I, I see weather one. Can you, uh, yeah. can you guys put up I weather one behind there. him? Can you put weather one behind me, please. We've got several areas of rotation. If you could put weather one in the BAM for me, please, for just a second, so I can take a look at this velocity yeah. data. Oh, Tim, this is not good. We've got several areas of rotation. Uh, it's not particularly strong that, that I would interpret, but you've got to remember the radar beam is so very close to the surface, probably less than a thousand yards off the surface, probably less than that. But these particular uh, red pixels, dots, blocks are moving towards the radar. Meanwhile, you've got these green dots moving very fast away from radar. So what we have is a counterclockwise rotation. We've got another counterclockwise yep. rotation right here. We have another counterclockwise rotation up here. I'm seeing Oh. More counterclockwise rotation here, Tim. This is getting very serious between Ellendale and Lakeland up near the Brunswick area. We're seeing uh, circulation in the atmosphere very low to the ground. So that is a tornado, ladies and gentlemen. And the National Weather Service has us under a tornado warning until 1245. All this rotation in the atmosphere is not good. It is the ingredients and it is really the finished product of a tornado. So I would expect to see uh, some damage reports, uh, hopefully no injuries or nothing else like we've had up in Minot, Arkansas earlier today. But these are very serious <clears throat> rotations in the atmosphere, very close to the ground. We know that the radar beam starts 100 feet off the ground. Every radar tower is put on a tower. Uh, the radar is 100 feet off the ground. So what we're seeing here is very serious rotation in the atmosphere, very close to the ground. Uh, with the storm that we saw up in Monette, the rotation was quite clear, but it was several thousand feet feet up in the air. Could have been a funnel cloud, was not. It was a tornado. We're seeing bounded weak echo regions like here in the Bartlett, uh, to the west of Bartlett, uh, down uh, to the south of uh, uh, 72 and, and High, uh, Poplar Avenue. But we're still seeing some, uh, some rotation, a very serious rotation. Uh, and again, uh, it's, <laughs> I can't emphasize enough, you need to protect yourself and your family right now. Here in Memphis, Tennessee, we've, uh, this has been called a tornado emergency by the National Weather Service and that was earlier this evening. How prophetic was that? Because now we're seeing the tornado activity right here in Shelby County. Brunswick, we're seeing these bright red blocks there. Uh, that is uh, very high winds moving away from the radar. Uh, I don't see a clear ro uh, rotation there, but quite frankly, this, this information may be a little bit skewed because it is so close to the ground. But we're seeing several areas of rotation. Could be some funnel clouds, could be some tornado. <laughs> We don't want you to wait and see what happens. We want you to protect yourself right now by going to the lowest floor of the building that you're in, in the center, in a small room, like a bathroom with no windows. If you can get underneath a set of stairs, that's great. If you're upstairs, you need to go downstairs. If you've got a basement, you need to go down to the basement. Small room, bathroom with no windows or closet, and stay away from the windows. Don't open them, don't close them. Stay away from them. And uh, get in the tornado position. You can cover yourself with pillows or blankets. Get on a bike helmet or a football helmet or some <laughs> type of hard helmet, uh, a, a hard hat or a baseball helmet, uh, a batting helmet. But uh, you you need to protect yourself and your family right now. This is why we do wall-to-wall -wall coverage all day long and all night long here on News Channel 3 for instances just like this. Tim, this is uh, this is not a good situation at all. Uh, 17,000 people without power, according to MLGW, and uh, also getting more reports uh, and hearing from people out in the Lakeland area, also in the Arlington area. Uh, my wife even texts in and says that she is in the basement uh, with the puppy dog and purse in her lap. She's in my office 
Memphis downstairs, and that's the, about the safest place that you can be in Memphis, Tennessee, let me tell you, and uh, hearing from other people that they're in their pantries uh, and stuff, and that's, that's where you need to be. Once again, this is right in the heart of Shelby County, Tennessee. Uh, we have seen uh, this, uh, this signature here with uh, the velocity signature right inside the heart of Shelby County, now pushing up into the Lakeland area, getting a report just a few moments ago. Uh, circulation has lost a little bit of structure. Reflectivity still shows that S shape, and that is, uh, that is true. Also, circulation still showing up at about 1,500 feet above the ground near I-40 and also Highway 64. So uh, getting information there from the, uh, from the National Weather Service. I uh, had a little power bump out at the National Weather Service office. That's one thing we have not had here at News Channel 3 uh, this evening, and that is a loss of power as of yet. So uh, we'll ho hopefully we can keep it that way. But this is a tornado warning that is in effect across Memphis, Shelby County. Uh, that is, is, seems to be where the greatest circulation has been located out along Interstate 40, approaching the Lakeland area. There you see Davies Plantation, Houston Levee Road. There's Brunswick Road. There's Lakeland. There's Canada Road. You know these areas. So if you know someone, have a friend or neighbor, just make sure that they are awake and they know what's going on here tonight. You, you give us like 15 or 20 minutes and you can probably go back to sleep. But for right now, let's keep all eyes to the sky. Uh, and this is the Canada Road uh, TDOT Smartway camera coming down to beat the band uh, at that particular location. I'm gonna look back toward um, one of our, my cameras here. I'll look back toward the tower cam. And matter of fact, things look a lot better on the tower cam here because the bulk of the rain has now pushed uh, east of that tower site at Witten Road and I-40. But on the uh, T -Day Smart, T -Dot Smartway camera there on Canada Road, it's still coming down to beat the band. So heavy rainfall, you will not see this tornado. Uh, you will not see the circulation. We're, we're seeing it on radar. It's rain wrapped. It's at night. You're just not going to see it. Uh, so. Please stay inside, stay safe, get in your safe spot. I'm just looking at some of the cloud movement here on this particular shot. I don't see rotation. I thought I saw something really crazy looking there. Hold on. I actually think that that is uh, something on the, on the camera lens. It is. Um, yeah, right in that general location. It looked like I saw some, some movement, Jim. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. There's plenty of, uh, of rotation in the atmosphere. This is a very frightening situation yeah. for us here in Memphis, and I am very concerned. Tim, I know you're very concerned yeah. with what's going on. We have a tornado warning in the highest populated county in our viewing area. That's Memphis, Tennessee, the Memphis metro area of Tipton County, Fayette County, DeSoto County, Crittenden County, and Shelby County. That's about a half a million people. There's about a million people in our viewing area. Half of our population, half of our viewership is is in this five county area and right smack dab in the middle, just like a bullseye, we have a tornado warning. We're seeing the rotation in the atmosphere. Uh, we're seeing the velocity of the storm is quite strong. We're getting reports on the surface from storm spotters from the National Weather Service that uh, they've spotted a tornado earlier this evening, just a few moments ago in Shelby County. The tornado warning has been confined to Shelby County, although there's a severe thunderstorm warning here in Orange for Shelby County. County, DeSoto, Marshall, and Fayette County until 1230. There's a second severe thunderstorm warning uh, just to the west of us uh, here in uh, southwestern uh, parts of uh, southwest of Memphis in southern Crittenden County, eastern parts of uh, Fort uh, St. Francis County, excuse me, and northern parts and northeastern parts of Lee County. This is exactly where the severe thunderstorm warning was a few moments ago when we were on the air for about 10 minutes and then went off the air for a few minutes. And this is uh, now where the, the storm has moved. So there's another storm, a big bad storm, right behind the one that's right on top of us. This is not a good situation. Stay in your home. Stay away from the windows. Stay away from the doors. Go to the lowest floor of the building that you're in. If you're in an apartment building, you go to the lowest floor. If it's got a basement, you go to the basement. You get in the center. You get in the center of the lowest floor in a small room like a bathroom with 
no windows or a closet. You stay there, uh, turn up the volume on Channel 3 and listen to us uh, if you can or go to Facebook. I'm sure we're streaming on Facebook. Uh, we're streaming probably on WREG.com. Uh, I know that we're calling in additional reporters to uh, take a look at the uh, damage, whatever damage is being done. Uh, but uh, this area of purple, very intense, and it's moving off to the northeast at 45 to 50 miles per hour. That puts the most intense part of the storm in Arlington at 12:30, in Galloway at 12:34, in Mason at 12:43, Stanton at 12:52, Brownsville 106, Woodland 113. It's moving quickly, but right behind it is another big bad storm down here from Proctor to Shore, uh, to uh, Shoe, uh, Horseshoe Lake. Excuse me. Uh, that particular radar site is the terminal Doppler radar for the Memphis International Airport, which we're also uh, proud to show and share that information with you. But uh, so we've got uh, Storm Tracker 3S, we've got Millington radar, and we got Terminal Doppler radar from the airport uh, to to hand out and uh, let us know where the uh, uh, information is as far as where the severe weather is. This whole area of severe weather, again moving off the northeast at 45 to 50 miles per hour, should be in Stanton at 12:27, Brownsville 12:35, Alamo 12:40. 49 bells 1249 humble 104 and three-way at 114 now we're looking at uh, doppler the velocity what way the winds are going within the storm either towards the radar or away from the radar and we are seeing a very broad uh, area of rotation but more specific rotation here to the south to the north of interstate uh, 40 and uh, to the south of summer avenue so that's where we're seeing some rotation we're seeing some rotation here uh, to the south and uh, to the east of uh, Highway 51. We're seeing more down here in southeast Memphis. It's a very dangerous situation. Stay indoors. Protect your family. Cover yourself with pillows, blankets, mattress, whatever you can in the lowest floor, in the center, in a small room like a bathroom with no windows or a closet. This is as dangerous as a situation as I think I've ever seen on radar. There's been a couple of other times that Tim and I have been on the air and spotted tornadoes, but uh, uh, this is uh, certainly one of them where we're probably going to see at least some damage and hopefully no injuries or fatalities. But the heavy rainfall rates up to uh, five inches or more to the south of Interstate 40, 240, that junction there at uh, just north of Poplar Avenue. We see more activity coming in from uh, Proctor and West Memphis uh, to the northeast goes right back into Shelby County. We're not out of the woods yet. Even at 1245, we're not out of the woods. We're seeing hail uh, in Shelby County uh, up to, uh, say, uh, about an inch, a half an inch to an inch of hail. Uh, so we're getting that in the downtown area, the airport area as well. And we're seeing a lot of thunderstorm activity along this line that's now about 800 miles from Texas all the way up to the Great Lakes. Cold front has still yet to come through. Through. That can't happen soon enough. But right now, we have got a tornado warning in Shelby County, and you have got to Jim, protect yourself just and your family. Go ahead, Tim. Just canceled. Okay, good, good. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Well, that's great. All right. So the uh, severe thunderstorm, or at least the tornado warning, has been canceled, but we still have a severe thunderstorm warning, do we not? That is correct. Good. That is correct. Uh, I want to show you where this is storm cell actually began where we started seeing a, at least a signature on radar. It's right uh, along Sam Cooper there and uh, near the Berclair area. I'm just going to do this manually, but watch as this system pushes toward Berclair. Look at it and that good. We're full screen and it moves over toward uh, Interstate 40 up toward Highway 70 Bartlett area. It continues working uh, toward the northeast. Now I want you to see what happens. Uh, this storm continues pushing northeast, pushes into Lakeland. Now we're dealing with some very strong winds. So we've got we've lost our rotation, at least the bulk of it. And now we're dealing with some incredibly strong winds pushing right there through the Arlington and uh, Lakeland area per se. So if you're up in uh, those parts of uh, the, the viewing area of Shelby County, uh, you can see those storms have produced quite a bit of uh, wind and they came all the way through the Galloway area. So right pushing toward Lakeland, Arlington and now over into the Galloway area and now eastern parts of Fayette County, Tennessee. So you uh, no doubt had some uh, strong wind gusts uh, coming through that area just within the last few minutes or so. But the good news is that the, the uh, Tornado warning that was issued for Shelby County has now been allowed to expire. They've actually canceled that. Let me check in one other place here. Uh, I believe that we're still dealing with our, yep, we're still uh, issuing a, a new severe thunderstorm warning until 1 o'clock. And this is going to go now for Fayette, Hardeman, 
Haywood, Shelby, and Tipton counties of Tennessee. So uh, like I said a long time ago, if you thought that uh, we we're coming to an end of this, man, we're, we're not just getting started, but we're kind of in the middle of it and maybe uh, going a little bit closer to the end. But I don't anticipate all this activity being out of here until we get closer to four, five o'clock in the morning. That being said, let me check out the new uh, warning that has been issued here, and there it is. Uh, this goes until 1 o'clock in the morning for Memphis, Shelby County. It uh, goes out into Tipton County, Haywood County, a very small section of uh, Hardeman County, and then into Fayette County, Tennessee. Severe thunderstorm warning. Not a tornado warning, severe thunderstorm warning. We'll check our times on that. And also one goes back uh, across into St. Francis County. I'll start there. Uh, that goes until 1245 this morning. Uh, and then the one here in Memphis and Shelby County, that will go until 1 o'clock. Uh, this morning. Let me hear what weather call is saying. This is News Channel 3's Tim Simpson. Okay. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for your immediate area. That's one of the reasons you need weather call. Love the WREG weather app. If you have that, it's free. As Jim has pointed out, if you have weather call, it uh, you pay a little money for it, but it'll make the phone call, and then Jim will call you in just a few minutes to let you know that that warning has expired. So that warning uh, that we just got on the phone is for what you're seeing behind me right now, and that is the severe thunderstorm warning for Shelby County, for Fayette County, Haywood County, and a small section of Hardeman County, Tennessee, and that will go until 1 o'clock this morning. Boy, the storms pounding the Memphis metro area. I think it was about an hour ago that they issued a warning for Shelby County. We were on the air as quick as they issued, and 10 minutes later, they canceled. And... Uh, got canceled and that's just how quickly these storms intensify they lose power they re-intensify and uh, i mean i had i had a chance to maybe take a couple of bites of a quesadilla and that's it before i could get three bites another warning and this time it was a tornado warning so now uh, we're seeing severe thunderstorm warnings no tornado warnings and that's some good news tonight because it seems like we've had so many tornado warnings uh, throughout this evening hour the evening hours the last thing we want uh, as another cluster of thunderstorms coming through uh, with tornado warnings. But this is the bigger picture right here, and this line of storms comes right through the heart of the News Channel 3 viewing area. It extends back uh, to the south of Little Rock into Carthage, Arkansas, and will continue pushing off to the east, northeast. Individual cells moving northeast, the whole line itself moving eastward, and the movement is about 45 to 50 miles per hour. All right, I see... Uh, Jim Jaggers loaded up over there once again. And uh, we, uh, Jim, we've been playing ping pong severe weather wise all night long. You know, I can't think of a nicer person to do it with Tim. <laughs> Thank you very much for letting me uh, let me in here. Yeah, so we've, uh, and Tim's right. We've got the tornado running gone and that's great news, but we still have a severe thunderstorm here in Shelby County. I'm getting texts from my son that they're in their safe place. They've turned up News Channel 3 loud and they're listening to us. Hopefully my grandson isn't uh, bothered too much by his grand bear's voice, but uh, I'm also getting reports from Dr. Rich Richard Rana, who uh, works with me on Knowledge Bowl, he says the power's been out about 10 minutes in the Getwell Perkins area. Uh, I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm surprised that uh, not more people are without power at this time. Uh, fortunately, here at News Channel 3, we have our own diesel generator. So if the power does go off, you may not see me. Too bad for you, but uh, good for uh, too bad for me, but good for you. Uh, that, but uh, we will continue to provide you this life-saving information as these tornadoes have just been hitting left and right, mainly to the north. But now here in Shelby County and this area where half of our viewing audience is, and, but we, the, it's not over with yet. Now this particular uh, severe thunderstorm warning is over at one o'clock. This one is over at 12:45. Would not surprise me at all if uh, uh, maybe it uh, gets extended. Uh, or gets canceled out uh, because of what's happening down here around the Mariana area. Some very serious rainfall there and lots of lightning as well. But uh, we've got this situation here at least until one o'clock. And if it moves faster than we think, then then we may be out of it uh, then. But there's still another line of storms behind that. This particular area of rain really gets intense here around Haywood County down into Fayette County. And as it moves off to the northeast at 45 to 50 miles per hour should be 
in Bells at 12:45, uh, Woodland at 12:51, uh, Humboldt at 1 o'clock, Milan at 1:13, and Jackson at 1:17. So you're down, you're uh, downstream from this. You're going to be seeing that bad weather about then. We, we keep on watching velocity like a hawk because that's our signal of where there's rotation in the atmosphere, whether it's high up or low down. The lower down, the more likely it is that there's tornado situation. Would not be a surprise at all that you watch News Channel 3 tomorrow morning and uh, tomorrow evening and see that we've got some damage here in Shelby County. I hope you haven't suffered any, but with all these high winds, uh, trees are going to come down. When the trees come down, they hit power lines. The power lines come down. Uh, Memphis Light, West Gas and Water usually very good about restoring the power as fast as they possibly can. They don't want to hear your complaints any more than you want to complain. But right now, velocity is looking I would say okay. I don't see anything no, that worries me. New tornado warning, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm That's sorry. all right. No, I'm glad you uh, glad you pointed that out. And it's in uh, eastern Shelby County, right? Let's go to Tim. It it's actually over in Fayette County. It's just to the northeast. It is to the northeast of Cordova. Uh, spotter report circulation re trying to reorganize in western Fayette County. So they have gone with the tornado warning. Uh, don't take any chances. But Jim, this is it, and I don't. I hate to interrupt. That, no, please. You know, I'm just one of these guys. I hate to, to be rude and interrupt, but this is a new tornado warning just issued here across areas of western and uh, north central Fayette County, and this goes up into Haywood County, uh, Tennessee as well. Let me get a uh, let me get a storm signature on that real quick, if I can, Jim. Sure, sure. And um, once again, not the not the best signature as of yet, but. Um, Got some activity here around the Oakland area that I'm seeing. I'm kind of thinking that this will tighten up here in just a moment, and that is probably our, our signature there, uh, maybe around Oakland, south of Oakland, between there and the Williston uh, area. So um, that's the area that is suspect at this particular time. If you live out in that area of Fayette County, Haywood County, uh, boy, now is the time to seek shelter and do it very, very quickly. Once again, this is a new tornado warning, and there it is has just been just been issued there. Okay, Jim, I'm sorry. Back That's, to you. No, please, I want that information out yeah. as soon as we get it because uh, uh, we want everybody to have that life-saving information. Precipitation rates, uh, still up to four or five inches of rain per hour in the Oakland area where we've got that new tornado warning, even around the Memphis area in the Midtown, the airport area, back into southwest Memphis, back down into DeSoto County. We take a look at the whole storm system. We find two lines of thunderstorms, one currently going through Shelby County in West Tennessee, one right behind that, uh, which uh, is going through northeastern Arkansas. Behind that, the cold front, which is edging closer to the Mid-South, now around the Little Rock area, and and hopefully in the next several hours move across the Mississippi River and completely out of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Behind that cold front is our clear skies, our cold temperatures, our dry air. And once that dry air hits it, we'll be all done with the uh, severe weather that we've currently got going through the Mid-South. Now, as we take a look at uh, the, the what went on today, we had an incredibly warm day today. Temperatures up to 80 degrees, beating an old record set back in 1918 by 5 degrees. You usually don't beat a record by five degrees, one or two, or maybe three degrees. But we had what we had a cap, what we call a cap in the atmosphere. High up in the atmosphere, there was a layer of warm air. Years ago, I had the privilege to uh, fly an ultralight machine. I took uh, uh, some flight lessons and learned how to fly an ultralight by myself. And as I took off, there were layers of the atmosphere which were extremely cold uh, above the surface, and then you'd run into a warm layer of air, and then another cold layer of air. It was quite an experience, but you've got that warm layer of air there. And when we send up a weather balloon in Nashville or Little Rock, we don't do it here in Memphis, but when they do in Little Rock and, and Nashville, the balloon goes up the atmosphere. And as it does that, it generally gets colder. But sometimes we'll have a warm layer of air and the temperature gets warmer right here. And then it starts getting cold again. Well, if you've got this warm air here, what makes a thunderstorm is rising air. So as the day heats up, the, the sunlight heats up the ground, the ground heats up uh, get war gets warm and uh, 
uh, uh, heats the air right above it, and then that air starts rising. Well, that's what thunderstorms and rainfall is made out of, is rising air. As long as the temperature keeps on falling with height, like it does here from the surface up to here, the warm layer, that air will keep on rising. You get a rainstorm and eventually a thunderstorm. But once it runs in to uh, uh, an area of a, of a cap or warm air, once it runs into where the temperature starts to rise, the warm air can't rise anymore. The warmer air is a uh is uh, basically capped from growing the thunderstorm at all. Now, uh, as we take a look at the updraft, once it hits that layer of warm air, it's unable to get beyond it. It is capped. It's told. It's basically uh, physically uh, suppressed from growing into a thunderstorm. But when there's weak areas of that cap, like we have right here, if uh, there's enough sufficient heating uh, in the air uh, that's coming up from the ground and that warm layer isn't as warm, then you may have some areas where the warm air cap is weak or thin. If the warm air, if the thunderstorm air can get through that cap, it can be broken and allow the strong thunderstorms to, to actually happen. That's exactly what happened today. We ended up with uh, very warm air, incredibly warm air, and, and we've got this cold front coming on in, making that warm air rise. The cap broke this evening, gave us all the thunderstorm activity, and this is where we find ourselves now with a severe thunderstorm warning not only in Shelby County, but into Fayette County and Haywood County and uh, Partiman County, but also a tornado warning now until 1 o'clock. The severe thunderstorm warning goes until 1 o'clock, and behind that we have another severe thunderstorm, which is going to be giving us some problems a little bit later on this evening. But right now, the important news is that we've got a tornado warning out of Shelby County. It's now into Fayette County. Haywood County and Hardeman County, and it goes until 1 o'clock this afternoon. If you're in this area, you need to go to your safe <clears throat> hiding place. You need to protect yourself and your family, and we've described how to do that. Go to the lowest floor in the center in a small room like a bathroom with no windows. Close the door. Turn up the volume on News Channel 3 and uh, listen to us so that we know when the warning is over with, because as soon as we get that information, Tim gets it first. He interrupts me, which I'm glad he does, <laughs> and, and we we get that information to you just as soon as we can. Uh, believe me, Tim and I enjoy the breaks more than you do, uh, but this is life-saving information. We want you and your family to be safe, and this is the kind of thing, this is the reason why we do wall-to-wall -wall coverage so often here at News Channel 3 and have been doing it for decades, right, Tim? Yeah, yeah, and uh, honestly, you know, Jim, we haven't done it as much here this past year or so. Uh, it seems like we've had a little bit of a lull, and certainly this fall we've had a lull. Uh, fortunately, we have until tonight, until tonight. But uh, right now, tornado watch continues until five o'clock uh, this morning. We're now at 1243 in the morning. So until five o'clock this morning, the severe thunderstorm warnings in effect right now that you see uh, here behind me uh, in the orange color. This is the one severe or one tornado warning that we're seeing right now across parts of Fayette and also into Haywood County, uh, Tennessee. Let me zoom in a little bit closer with this. And Ed, if uh, Ed's still directing back there, I take it that he is, unless Josh has made it in. We want to take that full screen. And now we'll come in, just take off some of the layers, and let me zoom in and show you uh, what we're looking at. That's right in the heart here, actually between Mason and uh, Somerville, if you will, Mason and even Hillville. It's this area right here. Uh, matter of fact, let me see if I can draw that out for you. Uh, grab my pointer and uh, be able to point that out for you. It looks, doesn't look like I'm going to be able to point. But uh, nonetheless, here it is. This is, this is my little pointing tool uh, coming up right here. Uh, it's in this general area here. Once again, we're making, we're making sausage here at News Channel 3. It's that area right there. That's the area of rotation that we're seeing. It is now just to the east of Highway 76. So if you're out in this area of uh, Fayette Corners, that part of the uh, Fayette County area, now's the time to, to seek shelter. Make sure that you and your family are safe. I'll walk this back a little bit uh, here and show you uh, how this has been pretty much working east, northeast. And these uh, storms have been moving east, northeast at 55 miles per hour. So still a very quick movement on these storms. And I'm just trying to adjust things here on the fly as quickly as I can. As we look at, <coughs> excuse me, the velocity mode, uh, let's see what else we've got going. It looks like that the tornado warning, I'm going to check that real quick. Uh, tornado warning is still in effect for Fayette County until one o'clock. There is the, the circulation that we're picking up with that particular warning. It looks like it's uh, approaching the Fayette Corners uh, area. 
Uh, tornado warning no longer uh, in effect. Let's see uh, who that is for. That may be the one for uh, Shelby County. MLGW uh, outages now up to 30. So we've got 30,000 MLGW customers without power here uh, in Shelby County. And Jim, that's where the bulk of the action is taking place to kind of get your comment on the side there out toward the Fayette County, Fayette Corners, Hillville. Looks like some pretty strong winds in that general area we've right got, we've there. We've got some reports of uh, truck drivers uh, reporting into the storm spotters of seeing a funnel cloud. They say it's basically paralleling Interstate 40 through mm -hmm. Fayette County up into uh, Haywood County. Uh, and uh, that's what we're seeing right now. But boy, it's intensive rainfall out there. It's not uh, a night fit for man or beast or anybody else who might wander outside. But uh, stay inside and stay tuned to News Channel 3. That's right. Try to keep you safe here tonight and let you have this information that you need because, you know, these storms are going to blow past Memphis. They're going to be out in Hardeman County, my home area. They're going to be out in uh, Jackson, Madison County. They're going to be out in Somerville, Fayette County, where a lot of viewers are out there. So these areas east of Memphis are uh, still going to be hard hit as these storms come through. But at this juncture, we're still following severe weather across the area area right now. Uh, this is what is left of that polygon. Uh, as far as the tornado warning is concerned, it's been trimmed down just a little bit. Uh, they are now taking out western parts of, uh, of Fayette County, Tennessee. Uh, let's see, sirens and blowing like all get out in Germantown. I like that. Boy, we're getting these great reports tonight. Uh, the, the cell phones are really helping out. People who have my who have my cell phone number are letting me know what they're seeing, and I really appreciate that, especially when it's your boss texting you, letting you know uh, what's being hammered. I'm going to tell you why uh, you're getting hammered in Germantown right now. Let me adjust my view here on the radar. That's why, right there. See Germantown? You almost are getting like a bow echo almost. They see that kind of jutting out just a bit into the Germantown area? It's not rotating, but what you're picking up is a very powerful line of storms coming through. The leading edge uh, coming through Germantown as we speak, taking aim on Kyerville. So if you're out in Germantown, like some people we know are out there, and if you live over in Kyerville, you're about to get slammed by this line right here, which is now coming through Germantown. Now, this part of Shelby County, I want to double check it and make sure we're still under the uh, severe thunderstorm warning throughout this part of Shelby County, Tennessee. So that's why uh, you are still under the warning here. You're not dealing with a tornado warning in Germantown. You're not dealing with a tornado warning in Collierville. But what you are seeing is a severe thunderstorm warning. And just like we're getting that information uh, from our boss here, uh, uh, that is pretty much what we need is verification from viewers, people who are watching, that what we're seeing on radar is actually happening. And we know it's happening because a lot of you have been lighting up the, the phones here. You've been lighting up social media. You've, uh, you've been lighting up my phone, I can tell you that. And so uh, I really do appreciate that. But the strongest part of this storm now in Shelby County, Tennessee, is now beginning to work through the Germantown area and approach Collierville. Lakeland, you're still under the gun here, you're still seeing some uh, strong winds and heavy rainfall in Lakeland. Arlington, the same thing. So if you're out in these parts of Shelby County, let me go back to the one hour time lapse here with what voice I have got left and uh, tell you that Lakeland, Arlington, Oakland getting slammed here with this severe thunderstorm cell and especially southeastern parts of Shelby County right now really getting slammed. This is about to pull into Collierville. If you're watching us in Collierville right now, be alert. The storm is coming into your vicinity, into your neighborhood, probably within the next five minutes or so. It's moving uh, very, very rapidly. All right, back to the tornado warning here into uh, areas of Fayette County, and this is pushing up toward uh, into Hay Haywood County as well. Uh, Jim, I'm going to track that one more time before I hand off to you. Uh, we're picking up still some pretty heavy-duty wind associated right here. And it seems like right around the Fayette Corners area may be one of the suspect areas. I'll take this back just a little bit. Yeah, right through there. Uh, is where we're seeing some circulation, maybe up toward Cocoa, those areas. Got some pretty strong winds right in that general area there. That's the velocity scan that we are seeing uh, right now. All right, Jim standing by. We've got about 10 minutes left in this tornado warning, Jim, that's pushing into Haywood County. What are the chances you think that's going to be extended? 
Well, uh, I, I don't know. It's it's very difficult right now with with velocity going on as as uh, as it is, and with the nighttime and the rain wrap that you yep. described earlier this evening, very difficult to tell. This has been a very active situation where storms have built up very quickly. We've gotten a warning on them; they die down very quickly. They cancel the warning within 10 minutes, and then belt right back up to give us a tornado warning in Shelby County. We're still seeing that very active and boiling atmosphere going on right now, and we're seeing that here in Fayette County in parts of Haywood County and Hardeman County as well but they are trimming it down some it seems to be paralleling uh, interstate 40 the tornado uh, was sighted uh, to the south of Brownsville in around the Hillville area so we're watching that very carefully but uh, we've also got a couple other things going on as we as Tim alluded we've got this severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Shelby County uh, all up the way into Fayette County all the way up into uh, uh, Haywood County. We've also got another one behind that. Both, both of them expire at 1 o'clock. Uh, and behind that is another new severe thunderstorm warning. That goes until 1.30. We talk about training here on News Channel 3, and we're not talking about training for football or basketball or uh, how to work the copying machine. We're talking about <laughs> how this storm is moving right along this railroad track, and it's it's been going on for over an hour now. The storm started here uh, and uh, built into uh, something that caused a tornado warning built up into another tornado warning and now a third tornado warning. We've got severe thunderstorm warning after severe thunderstorm warning. So what we're seeing down here in Mariana is headed towards Shelby County as well. We are not out of the woods. You need to stay safe. You need to keep tuned to News Channel 3. You need to keep weather aware. I did this track a few moments ago. Already it's worthless because the uh, storm has uh, moved on, but it can show you this very intense amount of rainfall here in Shelby County. County and Fayette County, uh, not the first wave of storms, but a next wave of very heavy rainfall should be in Oakland at 1257. It'll be in Somerville at 112, uh, 121 in Fayette Corners, 128 in Whiteville, and 135 in Huntersville. We keep on looking uh, in vain at uh, at velocity, and, and it's not showing us a lot right now. We're relying on reports from storm spotters from the National Weather Service, part of the Skywarn program. If you want to be a part of that, you can can be trained. You need to give up a Saturday to the National Weather Service. They will train you on tornadoes, how to spot them, how to spot them at night, what's a wall cloud, what's a funnel cloud, what we're looking for when we're looking for a storm report. Uh, and uh, they were, they're out there right now doing a very good job and have been all evening long, not just here in Shelby County, but up to our north down in Mississippi. I assure you the storm spotters are out there. There's lots of them. They usually have a ham radio and can report directly to the National Weather Service and the Weather Service can talk to them and verify their reports. But right now, radar is not of great use to us with this particular storm in Fayette County and Haywood County. Uh, what we can take a look at is the precipitation rate. We're still seeing very high precipitation rates, two, three to four inches of rain per hour in Shelby County, moving up into Fayette County. We're seeing more of that back here to the south and the west where we have that separate severe thunderstorm warning until 1.30 in the morning. Cold front has advanced to about Little Rock, Arkansas. Once we get this line of thunderstorms through the Memphis metropolitan area and across the Mississippi River, we have another line that's already developed here in south central Arkansas that'll be moving our way as well. We've got plenty of high rain uh, fall rates and lightning and thunderstorms and hail to go through with this particular storm. The important information you need to take uh, with you right now is that we have a tornado warning in effect until 1 o'clock for parts of Fayette County, uh, Haywood County, and Hardeman County. And uh, as Tim said, that goes another about five minutes now. And we will continue to stay with you. Any more tornado warnings that get issued overnight, and there very likely may be, we will interrupt programming. I'm sorry to do that, but I'm not sorry to give you that life-saving information to keep you <laughs> safe and your family safe. We've been doing it here for years on News Channel 3, and uh, I haven't heard a complaint about it in many years, Tim. Hey, Jim, can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you remember what you were doing on February 5th, 2008? Uh, I believe we were doing some uh, weather coverage, severe weather uh, coverage. I believe you are correct. We were. We were actually tracking a tornado coming through the Hickory Hill area of Memphis, Tennessee, and that's why Jim and I, we try to use these cameras as much as we can, but like you pointed out, Jim, at night, 
It's just very difficult. It is very, very difficult because you just have to have. Uh, well, uh, yeah. that, that particular storm was in the late afternoon. We still had some sunlight to see it. We did. And they kept, uh, I remember the engineers in the back, they kept shading the camera. Like, yeah. you know, give us, it's like uh, turning up the contrast, if right. you will. Right. You know, on some of the photos that you're trying to adjust because we were losing the, the daylight and we continued to track that storm through the Hickory Hill area, which is why we use our network of cameras. We're always trying to find these storms, you know, day or night, but we find them a lot better uh, during the day. This is the shot here from the tower cam, Witten Road I-40, and you can tell that's looking back toward uh, Bellevue, the three crosses. We could hardly see anything. I mean, like uh, 20, 25 minutes ago when this storm came through the central part of Shelby County, Tennessee. We were just incredibly uh, rain wrapped there, couldn't pick up anything. Now on radar, we were beginning to see that that storm structure, that circulation right around Sam Cooper and the Berclair area. Saw that. And once we had, once we were honed in on that, we we're able to track that storm out toward the Lakeland area, out toward Arlington, where, uh, just a matter of fact, uh, one of our producers, Allie, just gave me this note that she was talking to a lady who called in uh, just a few moments ago from Lakeland. She is out near the Sonic in Lakeland. She said around 12:30 tonight, she heard something in that area that sounded just like a choo-choo train. And I asked Allie, I said, did, did she say choo-choo train or just train? No, said she said choo-choo train. I'm like, okay. Well, you know what a tornado sounds like, don't you? Sounds like a train, uh, or in this case, a choo-choo train. So that's why you don't fool around with these things. Uh, this one actually pushed near the Arlington Lakeland area. So what she was hearing outside that sounded like a train could well have been that tornado coming through the area. So that's why we appreciate hearing from you because what we're seeing on radar and what we're observing, we love to get the ground reports from people. If you hear something, if you see something, we want to hear from you here at News Channel 3. Tornado watch until 5 o'clock in the morning. Let's see what's in effect right now. Multiple severe thunderstorm warnings. As a matter of fact, we've got still this one tornado warning that's going to remain in effect for about another uh, two minutes or so. Let's zoom into that one and let's see what's going on around Hillville and pushing up toward the Brownsville area. And this is all uh, in the southern part of uh, Haywood County. Uh, most of this is pushed out of Fayette County in the process of pushing out of Fayette County right now. There you see it right around the Hillville area just to the uh, east of Brownsville. Let me put that into motion for you so that you can see it. Let's go full screen with that if you don't mind, Ed, and, uh, and follow that because I want the folks at home to be able to see that as close up as possible uh, as that comes right through the polygon. That's one of the strongest parts of the storm right there around Hillville and up toward uh, Woodland. This is out into Haywood County. Got my, my good buddy, Wes Evans. That guy can, can throw a, a pottery mug. Uh, boy, you talk about a guy can throw some clay. That, uh, that's out in Wes Evans country as far as I'm concerned. And now we're talking uh, some of these uh, storms also into eastern parts of Haywood County. This general area here, eastern Haywood County, uh, you're going to pick up some pretty strong winds coming through that area. I'm going to take you back here into the Collierville area. We've got some strong winds in Collierville. That's a Boeing structure right there uh, that we're seeing coming through the Collierville area. That's what we got the, the text message a few moments ago from, from our boss here in, uh, at News Channel 3 in the newsroom, uh, Bruce Moore, saying, man, it, it was... Uh, it was really hitting Germantown hard, and now that is uh, beginning to push through the Collierville area. Uh, so if you're out in that region, please be alert to the fact that uh, you, uh, too, are going to pick up the possibility of some damage, at least uh, some high winds in your area uh, in the next couple of minutes as it now pushes over into the extreme southwestern part of Fayette County, uh, Tennessee. We're looking better back into the rest of Shelby County. Let me get a a reflectivity shot there and still picking up some moderate to heavy rainfall across the area but Fisherville out into Oakland and this takes us up into uh, Brownsville, Haywood County, Hillville. I mentioned that a few moments ago, still Hillville, still mentioning Hillville, Bells, Woodland. Bells is up in the Crockett County area. Alamo, if you've ever been up there, uh, you know what I'm talking about around Bells. That's not too far outside of the Jackson, Tennessee area. Uh, they tend to get severe weather when Jackson gets severe weather. I don't know how that, how that seems to always happen, but it does. And it now looks like that we have lost the tornado warning as of 1 o'clock. You're watching News Channel 3, WREG TV here in Memphis. As we continue wall-to-wall -wall weather coverage here at the TV station, Jim Jaggers, uh, Tim Simpson here with you for this evening. And uh, that is the weather call coming in. Let's uh, just double-check that real quick, Jim. The, this is News Channel 3 meteorologist Jim Jagger. That's Jim. Call to go notification. 
the severe thing. So basically what you want, let's just uh, surmise it this way, you want a phone call from Jim because he always lets you know that uh, you're coming out of trouble, that all, the, all is well. When you get the phone call from Tim, it's not a good one. You probably need to answer that, and you may want to ignore it, but you, you probably need to answer because that's I announced the warnings, Jim, let you know when they're ending. But at this point, these severe thunderstorm warnings are still in effect. Horn Lake, Mississippi, down toward Mariana. And, you know, honestly, I've not spent a lot of time in those areas because we've really been honing in on the, the tornado uh, out toward uh, Haywood County. And we've now lost that warning. But Mariana, Arkansas, uh, back over across into western parts of DeSoto County, uh, Mississippi. We're seeing some heavy rainfall here. These are severe storms. You'll pick up some windy conditions there. And speaking of wind, some of it is now beginning to push into the Oakland, Tennessee area, Jim, uh, over into now western parts of Fayette County, Tennessee. So we're still here at least until 1.30ish, it looks like. But yeah. uh, we want to make sure that you remain with us as well if you're in the path of these storms. Well, we, and we've got the severe thunderstorm warning. Part of it does involve uh, Shelby County here uh, into Fayette County, into Hardeman County, and this expires at 1.30. There's one just to our south across uh, DeSoto County into uh, Tunica County, uh, southern parts of Crittenden County into uh, St. Francis County and Lee County, and that expires at 1.30 as well. Now, what, what we're seeing here, a very well-placed severe thunderstorm warning by the National Weather Service. You can see how the polygon includes this area of very heavy rain uh, just to the uh, along Interstate 385, uh, headed towards uh, Collierville uh, in Germantown currently, and uh, moving off. Uh, actually, it looks a bit more to the southeast, the movement of this particular storm, but uh, it's the uh, whole storm system moving to the east. Now, as we take a look at what's happening down here in DeSoto County and Tunica County, we see very heavy rainfall from uh, western DeSoto County and northern Tunica County. Uh, some of that may come back into the same area, and that's what we talk about. That's what we're uh, referring to training is that that uh, the storm system will follow another storm system which follows another storm system and it's just uh, the same thing with what we've got here this storm system was back in Memphis uh, and uh, it continues to move off the northeast this thunderstorm was in Shelby County uh, following the storm up in the Jackson area these storms are going to be following this storm here in eastern Shelby County these storms this severe thunderstorm warning down here in Mar Mar Mariana Arkansas has storms that will move into Tunica County and uh, DeSoto County County, maybe not Shelby County because there is an easterly drift to this whole line of thunderstorms. But uh, suffice it to say, the weather system, the uh, severe weather event that has been described as a tornado emergency by the National Weather Service, very accurately, I might add, is still with us. Now, we may not have a tornado right now, but we may in a few minutes. The atmosphere is funny like that, if you want to think that's uh, humorous. But uh, this uh, latest storm system that we've got here in uh, parts of North Northwest Mississippi into Tunica County is moving off the northeast at 45 to 50 miles per hour. Should be in Oakville at 106, Germantown 124, Hernando at 127. So Germantown, you just had a, a, a heavy rainstorm, a high winds. You're going to have another one at 124. Olive Branch 138, Fisherville at 140. So we see storm after storm after storm go basically going on the same track or the same line into the same area over and over and over again such is the case with training and training thunderstorms. We continue to keep our eyes peeled on the velocity to show rotation in the storm. Uh, this uh, velocity hasn't been so useful for us late this evening, but it was very useful earlier this evening, and we continue to monitor it to make sure that uh, there's no more twisting in the atmosphere, uh, no more tornado development, although there could be. Precipitation rates still very high. Here along 269 at uh, Eastern Shelby County, five inches of rain per hour. And we've seen a lot of that, anywhere from two, three, four, five inches of rain uh, in that area and across the Mid-South, but also have down here in DeSoto County as well. Rain is beginning to taper off here in Memphis, but as we take a look at the big picture, you can see the cold front and another line of thunderstorms right behind the line of thunderstorms right on top of us is headed our way, particularly what we see here uh, to the south and east of Little Rock down into south central Arkansas. That area is moving our way as well. Hopefully
hopefully it'll skirt by to our south, but it will certainly catch uh, North Mississippi. You need to be prepared for this severe weather and prepared that you might have to get into a tornado hiding place, the lowest floor in the center of the lowest floor in a small room like a bathroom with no windows or a closet. Close the door, get into a tornado position on your knees, head between your knees. A few years ago, I could still put my head between your knee, my knees. Can't do that anymore. I leave that up to younger people like Tim and, and Todd. <laughs> windy, but uh, put your hands over the back of your head, your elbows over your ears. You can use hard uh, hard hats, uh, uh, bicycle helmets, uh, football helmets, uh, baseball batting helmets, anything that's hard that you can put on your head. A lot of severe injuries happen in tornadoes because they there's uh, flying material that hits your head, but uh, the precipitation rates just uh, off the charts. Uh, we're certainly we're seeing some damage from this particular storm system from the uh, dozen or more tornado warnings that we've had up to our north of the tornado warnings we've had here in Shelby County in the Memphis metropolitan area, West Tennessee, East Central Arkansas, to uh, the fact that we've uh, got no tornado warning right now, but several severe thunderstorm warnings going on, expiring at around 1.30, not only here in Shelby County, but Fayette <coughs> County and Hardeman County, also down in DeSoto, uh, Tunica County, Lee County, Southern uh, Crittenden County, into St. Francis County. And uh, moving off to the Northeast, it's, uh, it's just one long night of uh, severe weather here in the Mid-South. And the Storms Prediction Center uh, did a very good job of pinpointing where the heaviest weather would be, where the most severe weather would be. And that has been so far up to our north, although we've certainly had our share here in Shelby County and continue to have that share. Tim? Okay, Jim, thank you very much. Uh, if we could, uh, full screen real quick. Let's take the camera behind me. This is our River Cam 3. Jim, I'm going to swap out with you real quick if I could, and I'm going to take the weather remote from you, if you don't mind. Yes, yes. And if I could, Ed, could you put weather one in the BAM, if you don't mind? I know I'm asking a lot of favors here, but that's why uh, we work with the kind of crew that we work with, because uh, you can ask them for something, and boy, they are right on it. But this is the shot from downtown Memphis right now, what we're seeing here at uh, News Channel 3. It's still some rainfall here in the downtown Memphis area. Uh, here we're seeing the lightning strikes as well, and as we uh, check out what's happening elsewhere across our region. Uh, this is out at the Tower Cam, Whit Road and I-40. Still a lot of wind at that location. You can see the tower uh, and uh, you can see the, the camera shaking uh, from time to time because of the gusty winds out of that location. We've had some pretty heavy rainfall. So how are the temperatures stacking up? We've been in the 70s all day pretty much Friday and now we're seeing the temperatures beginning to drop here in Memphis with that rainfall. We've gone from 77 to 64 degrees basically in one hour. That rain has really cooled us off. 70s elsewhere. The severe weather risk is going to shift to the east uh, today over toward Nashville. Here's what's in effect right now. The tornado watch until 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. And still, this is for most all of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Check out the multiple severe thunderstorm warnings that we've got right now. And um, these continue at least to like 1, 1 1.30 in the morning or so. So uh, we continue watching those. Close up view here into Fayette County. We've got some strong wind associated with this storm coming into Fayette County. Also, Jackson. Madison County back into the Bolivar area. Got some strong winds out in that area as well. So if you live out in, in those regions of the country, these storms are with you. So make sure that you stay alert. Uh, these storms are severe in nature, and we know that severe storms can and oftentimes do produce tornadoes. So uh, please be alert. That's why we're here at uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. Normal sleeping time for me, and I'm sure for most of you, but we do not want to sleep through this event. Uh, the worst has already pushed out of Shelby County. So if you're here in uh, at least in northeastern parts of Shelby County for now, uh, you're looking a little bit better here locally. Uh, these storms pushing up toward Dyersburg. Got another line along Interstate 55. Blytheville up across into Tiptonville. So seeing some uh, heavy rainfall in uh, that particular storm uh, cell here in Memphis, Shelby County. Uh, as I mentioned, the worst passing off to the east of us right now, coming through uh, uh, Germantown, Collierville within the last few minutes, uh, now pushing through Oakland on its way into the Somerville area. Before you know it, it's going to be out in Bolivar and Hardeman County because of the storms are moving east 
uh, northeast at about 50, 55 miles per hour. More activity in Forest City southward toward Mariana. That's how things are shaping up as we continue seeing these storms pretty much train across the region here uh, from parts of West Tennessee into North Mississippi. Another shot here locally into Memphis and Shelby County, all part of a big storm system that uh, we've been anticipating uh, for days. Here's the big shot as we, we check things out uh, just a bit. This is the tornado watch that's still in effect, not just in our area, but across a large section of Arkansas, uh, back across into uh, Louisiana, and this extends much further uh, to the north. These are the damage reports, the storm reports that we have picked up throughout the evening hours. Everything that you're seeing here into Arkansas, for the most part, is either uh, wind damage or hail damage. Once you start getting closer to northeastern Arkansas, northwest Tennessee, now we're dealing with tornado damage, especially the one up in uh, Monette, Arkansas, earlier this evening uh, that hit a nursing home or uh, a, a assist, assisted care facility up there and then further to the north up around the St. Louis area. But there have been quite a bit of uh, storm reports all across uh, the News Channel 3 viewing area and even beyond as these storms continue uh, to pulse on through. To the north, it's not rain, it's snow. This is part of a major storm system approaching, uh, actually pushing through the Great Lakes area, the colder air to the north, they get the snow. Warmer temps to the south in the 70s and 80 degrees like we had today, and you get thunderstorms. Matter of fact, while I'm with you, I'll go ahead and point out the seven day forecast uh, for you there very quickly. We'll uh, actually top out around 55 degrees. Temps will be dropping throughout the day. Uh, and actually the days are mixed up here now because we've had the, the change. We've actually had the, the change going forward uh, at midnight. So all the days are off by one. So Sunday should be Saturday. Monday should be Sunday. So uh, that happens when we hit midnight every day. So back to the tornado watch. That's in effect until uh, 5 o'clock this morning. So we've got just under four hours left in this particular tornado watch. The multiple, tor excuse me, multiple Severe thunderstorm warnings in effect as well. Uh, we've got heavy rainfall along with strong winds with these storms that are pushing from Fayette County now into the northwestern part of Hardeman County, Tennessee. And I do mean some strong storms pushing through Fayette Corners up into the Toon area, northwest uh, parts of uh, Hardeman County, Whiteville, uh, Cloverport, some of these areas, and then pushing north and up toward Huntersville, Jackson, uh, areas like Humboldt getting slammed at this particular time uh, with these storms. So once again, 12 minutes after one o'clock, this is WREG TV in Memphis, Tim Simpson, Jim Jaggers, and boy, uh, we have really been covering these storms. Jim, I think really we interrupted the six o'clock newscast right around 6.10, 10 minutes after six o'clock. And here we are 10 minutes after one o'clock in the morning. And uh, here we are, you know? Yeah, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, as we take a look at the uh, the big uh, BAM, uh, we'll show you uh, as soon as I can get my uh, clicker to work uh, that uh, we're getting quite a bit of rainfall across the News Channel 3 viewing area, particularly where we've got the thunderstorms right now from Haywood County to Fayette County to Shelby County to Soto and even Lee County. Uh, we're still worried about this storm here moving into the Shelby County area. Uh, that looks like that's going to continue. Uh, the cold front is about to Little Rock right now. We've got another line of thunderstorms here in South Central Arkansas. Hopefully it'll skirt to the south, but North Mississippi will certainly get it and uh, get some severe thunderstorms. Hopefully no uh, uh, severe thunderstorm, no tornado warnings. Right now we don't have a tornado warning, but we do have a severe thunderstorm warning for Shelby County. Uh, the tornado watch goes until five o'clock in the morning now for most of West Tennessee uh, and uh, into North Mississippi. These counties here in Northeastern Arkansas will be cleared out of the tornado watch around two o'clock in the morning. But the uh, important part is we have a uh, severe thunderstorm warning up here in Haywood County, another one for Bolivar uh, in Hardeman County, into Fayette County, into Shelby County, another one for DeSoto County, into uh, Tunica County, Southern Crittenden County, uh, southeastern parts of St. Francis County, extreme northeastern parts of Lee County, into a separate severe thunderstorm warning until 145 down around the Mariana area. The area
area I said we're concerned with. And as you can see, the, if you can imagine these orange polygons being sort of a railroad track, that's where these storms are moving from the southwest to the northeast. So Shelby County could get another severe thunderstorm warning out of the storm that we see down here in the Mariana area. But at least we don't have any tornado warnings. We've got to count our blessings when we can, uh, particularly for tonight. Very unusual situation today. Got up to 80 degrees. Broke a record set back in 1918. More than 100 years old. Uh, the old record 75. We got to 80 today. When I'm looking at forecasting a record high temperature, I usually don't like to do it. But I did this week because the models have been so very accurate. And uh, they were today, uh, except that I forecasted 78 degrees and it got all the way up to 80 degrees. I don't think even I would have the guts to, to forecast an 80 degree high temperature. But uh, we're looking at some very warm, moist and stable air, more summer-like air. We've got winter coming in behind that cold front. The front moves on through. It clears out our skies. It dries out our air. It uh, gets rid of the rain. And as we track the storm on Storm Tracker 3S, you can see how it's moving so quickly to the northeast at about 45 to 50 miles per hour. Now, yes, this whole line does have an easterly drift to it by about 30, maybe 40 miles per hour, maybe not quite that fast. But that's why we're expecting to see these storms here in east central Arkansas move up into Shelby County or at least the Memphis metropolitan area, which would include Shelby County, uh, Tipton County, Fayette County, DeSoto County and Crittenden County. That's about half of our viewing audience right there. So uh, we are concerned with everybody in our viewing area. But uh, in particular, when you got half your audience there, you pay special attention. I keep on looking at velocity. I'm not seeing anything here, but uh, as I go live on the air, if I see something that pops up, I want you to know about it. Right now, I'm not seeing a whole lot as far as velocity is concerned. Uh, it looks like a pretty standard pattern to me, but certainly the precipitation rate has been very high, and uh, the storm, which had been paralleling uh, Interstate 40, is now moving to the south of Interstate 40, and that's where we're seeing the greatest rainfall amounts in the last couple of hours. But uh, again, 1.30, we get rid of that severe thunderstorm warning and save another severe thunderstorm warning being issued by the National Weather Service. So that severe thunderstorm warning that we've got around Mariana moving up into Shelby County. We can go off the air for a little while. You can get a break. We can get a break. We can get a, a gulp of water and, uh, and maybe a, a sandwich or a quesadilla. I don't know if Tim's got anything left of his quesadilla. Not I got a chicken does, sandwich left. If he does, he better be careful. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. Okay, so we're looking at a lot of rainfall. We're looking at a lot of wind. We're looking at power outages all over the place. Uh, the power outages were up to 17,000 people in Shelby County uh, without power. And I guarantee you that uh, Memphis Light Gas and Water is out there trying to get the power restored just as soon as they can. They don't like it any more than you do, uh, not having power in Shelby County. But we're seeing that all over the Mid-South. High wind, the heavy rainfall makes for high winds. The high winds bring down trees, the trees bring down power lines, and that's the, the unfortunate uh, a sequence of events with lines of thunderstorms like we're seeing right here. But uh, as we take a look at the uh, severe thunderstorm warnings, these two here in, uh, in Shelby County, Fayette County, and the other one in DeSoto County and Tunica County both expire in about uh, uh, 15 minutes or so, about 12 minutes or so, and we will stay on the air until that happens or unless the National Weather Service uh, exits out of that severe thunderstorm warning uh, in Anytime soon, but I'm not sure that's going to happen because I see some more very heavy uh, thunderstorm activity and rainfall activity here around the uh, Germantown area moving towards Collierville as it moves off to the east at about 35 miles per hour and uh, moves uh, the whole line moves or the individual storms move to the northeast at 35 to 40 miles per hour. So we'll continue to stay with you. Keep your family safe. Keep you safe. You really need to have several different ways to get emergency and severe weather information. News Channel 3, we're proud to be one of those sources for you, but you can also get a NOAA weather radio. You could also get uh, weather call, which you would find on WREG.com slash weather. It does cost a couple of bucks, but Christmas is coming up. Maybe you want to make your family safe, your friends safe, uh, grandpa safe, or your granddaughter safe, and you can download that on their phone and sign up for that service and get the call. And Tim will call you when it's bad, and I'll tell you when it's clear uh, because my voice is just so much better than his. Uh, we want to give you make sure you get that all clear signal from...
from a, a good sounding voice. But uh, we do uh, also have the weather app, which you can go to the app store, download for free, use for free. You don't hear my voice, but uh, we're, we're working on that. That's in the next development of the News Channel 3 weather app. Tim, uh, it's been a long night. We still have the uh, tornado watch in effect. Tornado watch is still in effect. We're about to lose the severe thunderstorm warning jam in about 11 minutes here across uh, Shelby County, Tennessee. I'm just looking to see if they've expired that yet. Uh, they have not. So that's going to continue till 1.30 this morning. This is the tornado watch. We've been, been watching that very carefully. Up in Jackson, Tennessee, they're getting some uh, indications there. Some pretty strong storms coming into the Jackson area right now. Let me do a query on that uh, area. That, that Jackson warning is going to go to 145 this morning. That's the big picture there. And I think you can see why. I'll zoom in just a little bit closer to Jackson in just a moment. But this is the whole line of storms coming across the News Channel 3 viewing area. Keep your eye on Jackson. That segment is starting to bow out uh, just a bit as it goes through Jackson. This is very reminiscent of the storm cell that went through Germantown just a short time ago that we uh, got indication on. It was really producing some very strong and gusty winds. Also, uh, just taking a phone call in the newsroom a few moments ago, a report from Eads, hail, strong winds, entire house shaking, lightning, uh, took a tree out, and that is over in the Eads area, and that is part of that storm cell that came through Germantown just a few moments ago, well, uh, within the past 30 minutes or so, uh, causing uh, some real problems out toward the Eads area. That cell is already working out toward uh, Oakland, out into Fayette County, and actually beginning to push into the extreme northwestern part of Hardeman County as well. Check out this hail zone here. It had quite a bit of hail reported with this uh, cell coming through southeastern Shelby County uh, just a short time ago. Uh, this is extreme southeast Shelby County, just south of Germantown and working over toward Collierville. We've got some other strong storms down around south of uh, Forest City into the Mariana area. This is Mariana, Arkansas. These storms, too, continue tracking toward the northeast at about 50 to 55 miles per hour. I'm just kind of following where the radar goes at this point. It's taking me up toward uh, Hillville, out toward the Bolivar area. Here in Memphis and Shelby County, we're looking better across a large part of uh, Shelby County, just right here in uh, Collierville. Uh, still picking up some heavy rainfall in the Collierville area uh, here this evening. So if you're out in Collierville, you're getting slammed uh, with some heavy rainfall. Checking on the power outages uh, as well. Stand by one second as I check on those power outages. Let me look at my last count from uh, Eric Lipford. Uh, 23,000. MLGW just dropped to 23,000. So that's down a little bit from the 30,000 that they had earlier. So uh, they're out doing their thing. They were prepared for it. You saw the reports here on News Channel 3. I think it was yesterday or today that uh, they were talking about being prepared for these storms. Let me check in with Stanley real quick. Stanley, you have any cameras over there, any TDOT cameras that we can look at that we need to look at? Stanley Payne, let's see. We've got, there's the, that is River Cam 3 uh, as we're looking at uh, most of the rain now pushing out of Western Shelby County. Um, the Horn Lake, okay, so we're gonna go down and look at an MDOT camera. This is Greenbrook, Greenbrook at Mississippi 302. Uh, just raining at that location. Looks like that the uh, traffic lights have, have been battered down there. It's like they've had better days, but that's, uh, that's to be expected. Quite a bit of wind coming through that area tonight. Stanley, anything else over there that you, that you want to look at? Stanley Payne uh, operating the cameras over there, the MDOT and the TDOT cameras, so whatever he comes up with is, is what I usually show. Uh, coming up, Jim is looking at an uh, outage map here. What does it look like, Jim? 20? Well, yeah, we're at 12, almost 26,000 people without power. Okay. There's uh, 377 power outages. The, the heaviest hit areas of more than 1,000 customers appear to be in uh, the middle of the I-240 loop down into uh, southwest Memphis mm. and in the, uh, the airport area, but also uh, not too far from uh, Germantown, south of Germantown and, uh, and uh, elsewhere as well. But we've got so a lot right of power there. outages going on right now. So basically, and as I'm looking at the map, I can see that over your shoulder and I can see it here. Uh, can't show that at home for some reason, but uh, that is really in the same area, Jim, where that rotation yeah, took exactly. place. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. And uh, we've got plenty of reports from the National Weather Service and storm spotters of uh, uh, 50 mile, 45, 50 mile an hour winds today across Shelby County, but also across the viewing area.
All right, so that's out near Sam Cooper where we've uh, zoomed into right now. So that is one of the areas hardest hit as far as uh, storm outages uh, go here in Shelby County, but uh, still about 26,000 people without power. Yes. And so uh, I know that uh, they're working on it. We're about uh, six minutes away. There it is. We got the map up. There. It is. How did that happen? I guess I've just got uh, Stanley. Did you do that? Of course. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'll tell you what, he's Stanley's good to have around. We need to need to work on ringing that uh, Salvation Army bell a little bit better. But other than that, he's a pretty good fella to have around here, that's for sure. But uh, this is uh, what we're seeing now on uh, Storm Tracker 3S, National Weather Service radar, and pretty much any radar that we can get our hands on uh, in this particular situation. But uh, we're watching very, very closely. The severe thunderstorm warning for Lee and Phillips County has been expired. I am seeing that. Uh, let's see. What, any other information that we can pass along at this time. The warning is going to expire here in Shelby County in just a couple of moments. Let me see if there's anything else in the uh, chat room that I can pass along to you uh, at this time. Stewart County, multiple trees and power lines down. That is not in our uh, viewing area. Sorry about that. And um, yeah, it looks like things, I can't say that they're winding down, but they are winding down for us here in Shelby County, Tennessee, because we're going to drop this warning in about uh, four minutes and 30 seconds as uh, we will uh, bid farewell at least for a short time. And Jim, maybe this time we'll be able to get something more substantial than a quesadilla. Well, we're not uh, not out of the woods quite yet, as you well no, know, Tim. We've still got that uh, well, tornado watch in effect yeah. until 5 o'clock for most of West Tennessee and uh, eastern Arkansas. Some of uh, northeastern Arkansas will be taken out of the watch at 2 o'clock in the morning. But we're still in the thick of it. Uh, it is, uh, for at least that first line, is through the Memphis metropolitan and Shelby County area for the most part. We're still seeing some heavy rainfall around the uh, Collierville area. And we're still concerned about these storms that we see here in Phillips County. County and in Lee County and there's really another line that you can see that's merging with the initial line that's moved on through in the last couple of hours and we see some stuff uh, to the west of Forest City. This could easily move into the Memphis metropolitan area and Shelby County cause us another severe thunderstorm warning or uh, tornado warning, uh, heaven forbid, but uh, we're still seeing the severe thunderstorm warnings expiring at 1:30 here in Shelby County, Fayette County, down in DeSoto County and uh, uh, a little bit later there for Mary Ann, I think 145 for them with that particular storm down there. Uh, the 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 thing that we can hang our hat on or we can put our hopes on is the fact that we don't have any tornado warnings at the present time. It is late at night. The atmosphere is extremely worked over and uh, been rung through the ringer a couple of times, uh, particularly up to the north, but now in, in uh, Memphis and in Shelby County in the mid-Mississippi area, uh, southern Mississippi River Valley. Uh, so uh, a lot of this activity may not be as severe as it was earlier this evening, and there has been plenty of severe weather. Uh, Monette Arkansas had a nursing home that was hit. Uh, a couple of people died. Several injuries. Our own Melissa Moon is up there now gathering more information on the uh, storm damage and the fatalities and the injuries. I know that she'll have her latest report tomorrow morning on daybreak uh, and uh, Windy Nations will be here to, to track any more storms. But I really think by that time the, the storm activity will have left the News Channel 3 viewing area and will be in the clear. I continue to look at velocity just to see the latest sweep just to see if there's anything developing. I don't see anything developing. Uh, it looks like a pretty standard uh, sweep for me uh, as far as when rain and thunderstorms move on through. Precipitation rates have been practically through the roof. Uh, we've seen plenty of instances of five inches of rain uh, and uh, three and four inches of rain. Of course, we're not going to see those amounts because these are storms are moving 45, 50 miles per hour. So they're, while they are raining very hard, they're moving on very, very quickly, not allowed to stay in one place uh, to, to dump that three or four inches of rainfall. But the cold front has yet to pass through Little Rock. I just checked the observations there a few moments ago, still getting southwesterly winds. But once this front moves on through, you can see how the skies are clearing out here in northwestern Arkansas, Missouri, back into Oklahoma and Texas. That high pressure builds in, the cold air comes in, the clear skies, the drier air, and the thunderstorms go out of the forecast. This has been a lousy Friday, a very hot Friday, and a very lousy 
lousy Friday night, but Saturday and Sunday really are going to be much better and worth the wait, I, I think. So as we check accumulated rainfall, we're seeing up to an inch in Blytheville, about a third of an inch in Dyersburg. These numbers aren't quite reflective of what's happened. They're not up to the minute, up to the second, but they are giving us an indication of some heavy rainfall up there. And I think that's probably where we're going to fall with rainfall across the News Channel 3 viewing area as we take a look at it during the day tomorrow. Wendy will show you. We're probably going to have about an inch of rain as an average across the News Channel 3 viewing area. Tim, uh, it's been a long night. It has been a long night. Don't want to repeat this tomorrow night. No, sir. Or the night after. Yeah, as Jim mentioned, we got some cooler air coming in for the weekend. Should have a really nice uh, weather pattern showing up, so hope that you get out and enjoy that. Still, there are some severe thunderstorm warnings in effect across the area from Jackson down toward uh, Fayette County into the Somerville area. We've got more activity here across areas of eastern Arkansas. I'm going to wait about another 15, 20 seconds just to see, uh, just to make sure what warnings drop off here at the correct time. And uh, we are going to lose this warning here in Memphis and Shelby County. And as that happens, uh, we will end our coverage at least for now. But just know that, yeah, there it is. We just dropped off really most of the warnings. Now the the bulk of the warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings, are up around the Jackson area, and they're going to go to like 145 uh, this morning. So we are out of the woods as far as warnings are concerned right now. The 20 to watch continues until 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, not seeing a lot of that being shaved off as of yet. That could change here uh, shortly. Hey, we'll uh, continue to keep an eye on this situation here, and as we always say at News Channel 3, if severe weather breaks out, we'll break in. You keep it here on News Channel 3.